In this video, we want to take a look at the Document Library module, which is called the Digital Asset Management module in Evo Content. The Digital Asset Management module allows you to organize the documents of your site. Now, these documents might be PDFs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or even simple JPEG files. You can also control the access through the use of permissions, and you can even enable versioning or workflow within the module. Now this video is designed to simply get your feet wet with the digital asset management module. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is log in. I'm just going to click the login link here at the top and I'm going to log in as the host user. So the first thing I want to do is create a new page. And to do that I'm going to hover over pages and click add new page. I'm simply going to give this page name documents. I want to ensure that the page is going to live after the home page. I'm going to update the permissions so that all users can view this page. And I'm going to add the page. And so we see our documents page has been created for us by the system. Now I need to add a digital asset management module to the page and to do that I'm going to hover over modules and click add new module. Now I have a drop down showing me all the modules that are available to me in the system. And here's the Digital Asset Management Pro. I'm just going to drag and drop this to the page. And the page refreshes and our module is now on the page. Now by default we're placed into edit mode by the system but we don't necessarily need to be in edit mode in order to work with the Digital Asset Management module. So I'm going to close edit mode. And by default you can see that the default folder here is the root folder. And I just want to speak a little bit about the user interface and some of the options that we have available to us. We can definitely expand the folder structure here for our site and notice that we're viewing the folders here in file view. We can also toggle to tag view and currently none of our documents have any tags so we're not seeing them. We also have the capability to toggle this view so if we wanted to expand we could do that for a full screen view and we have a thumbnail view here, icon view. So if I were to click on the images here and then view by icons, we can see an updated view of those images. Now once we select a specific file, you'll notice that we have a couple more options that become available to us. We can download the file, we can rename the file, copy, move, delete, we can get the specific URL for this file, as well as we can view properties of the file. Now all of this is also available to us if we were to simply right click on the file as well. So if I click view properties we can update the title and the name and we can add some tags to the document here. We also can update the attributes and as well we can enable a publish period. So if we enable the publish period you notice we have a start and an end date that become available to us with nice calendar picker options. We have a versioning tab where we can see information about the previous versions of the document. Now we only have one version of this document so far and that's why we don't have a lot of information available. So I'll cancel this and notice that we can search from within the document management. We can also create new folders and we can even upload files. What I want to do is simply create a new folder so I could obviously come and create a new folder by clicking this option and I would get a pop-up here or I could just come over to the root or to any folder and right click and click create folder. Before I create a folder though I want to view the folder properties. Notice that at the folder level we can update the folder name not the root folder that's the only folder that we can update the name and we can enable versioning as well as workflow and we can also set permissions at the folder level. So I'm going to cancel this screen and we're going to right click and now we will create a folder. So I'm going to give this folder the name of documents and I'm going to indicate that the folder type is standard. I'm going to click save and now you can see that we have our documents folder available to us. Now I want to upload some files to this folder. So I'm going to click on the upload files option and we'll get a pop-up window here. So you see that we can actually choose files or we can drag and drop documents here. 
So I've created a folder with a couple of documents in it and what I'm going to do is drag and drop all of these documents here and this system has already uploaded the documents for me. So now I can close this window and you can see that we have the documents available for us. Now let's say if I only wanted registered users to be able to access these documents I could right click on the folder and go back to the folder properties click on permissions and ensure that registered users are the ones who can browse and view the folder so I can uncheck the capabilities for all users and click save. So I hope this video about the document library has been helpful for you. Be sure to check out our other videos discussing more features of Evoke content and thanks again for watching.